What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Terrell Payne. I'm coming back at you once again. And today, we're going to talk about the Royal Rumble. My thoughts on it and shit like this. Royal Rumble 2015, right? And what the fuck, dude? God, the internet is fucking butthurt. That should be the fucking title of this video. WWE 2K, I mean, fucking Royal Rumble 2K. What the fuck ever? The internet is butthurt. Yeah, you get it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Um... We ain't gonna talk about the whole fucking thing. We're just gonna talk about basically two matches, right? There, there wasn't even, there, there wasn't no singles matches on this card, was there? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't remember seeing any. Um, anyway. So you had the triple threat match for the fucking title. Of course me, I'm going for Brock. That was a good fucking match. That was a good triple threat. They had everybody hooked, I think, and it, it was just a good ass fucking match. You had your hardcore spots here and there. You had a few little different things. Brock Lesnar fucking dominating, being a beast. We had a little German suplex party, you know what I'm saying? It, it was definitely off the fucking chain. I highly enjoyed that shit. Yes, off the chain. That's what I fucking said. You get it? Dig it, son. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was fucking cool as shit, right? So up into the end, minute pay-per-view, highly enjoyed it. I was like, fucking right, Brock won. Whatever else happens to me, I'm like, hey, whatever happens, I'm good with it, you know? Brock won. Cena didn't win the fucking title. I was still kind of half ass suspecting Rollins to cash in his money in the bank somehow, but of course that didn't happen. He still has, what, till WrestleMania to do that shit, right? Hold on one second. Holly enjoyed this match. I actually want to go back and watch it, because I've only seen the live feed of it, right? So I need to refresh my memory. I should have actually watched it before I did this more fun commentary. Would have been able to talk about it better. But, um... Good ass match, right? Now we get on to the motherfucking Royal Rumble. My pick, along with pretty much everybody's pick, was Daniel Bryan. And you figure kind of after them fucking him over in the Royal Rumble last year, and him getting injured and not really being able to, you know, take his spot and shine like he should have been for a good while, that... Oh yeah, maybe they'll, they'll push him and go ahead and let him win this Royal Rumble. Because they know the fans are going to fucking That's what the fans want, right? Nope. Nah. Fuck you. <laughs> they, they, they don't want that. Nah, not at all. <laughs> I didn't really foresee, though, that the fans turning on Roman Reigns that much. But he's really in a win. He's in a lose lose predicament, right? No matter fucking what, they're they're gonna turn on him. It don't matter who the fuck it would have won. There there could have been a few Danes that could have um helped with the butt hurt that happened to the internet. Like okay, so Bubba Ray Dudley coming back, right? Fucking awesome. I was talking to fucking, I think it was just Deadpool, right? He was like, oh yeah, man, I, I want Randy Orton to come in. I was like, well, I'm expecting Bubba Ray Dudley, blah blah blah, because of course internet rumors. It's fucking internet rumors, though, right? You don't believe that shit. Well, you're not supposed to believe that shit. You believe internet rumors, fucking... Well, wrestling internet rumors. That shit isn't always to the T, right? But I was like, fucking right. If I could see Bubba Ray, hell yeah, back in the WWE. I just said that to just Deadpool or whatever, and the motherfucker comes out. Th th that shit was fucking awesome. If they would have saved his entrance for right after fucking Daniel got, um... See, that might not even worked either. He would have got a pop, but there's they in the in the end they probably still would have fucking turned, you know. Oh, I, <laughs> I just think it's fucking funny as shit. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy Roman Reigns winning along with other people, but it was not necessarily his fault. They're trying to push him, but motherfuckers don't want to see him pushed. Back then, when everybody was fucking liking him a year ago and shit like that, I was saying he's he needs to become more versatile. He's not. He's not diverse enough, you know. He seems like he's got, you know, a few, a set move set, some shit like that. He's good, but he he can be a lot better. Uh, um, yeah, Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar would have been fucking awesome. Now, what is WWE gonna do? Are they gonna fuck up and do the same shit last year? Like, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, we gotta put fucking Daniel Bryan in the WrestleMania event to fucking you know give up for lost shit. Oh god. They need to go ahead and start doing the Sting shit, because you know Sting's coming in to fight Triple H. There's fucking, the way it's been going, that's fucking pretty much foreseen, so go ahead and get that. If they can possibly get The Undertaker back somehow, which I highly fucking doubt, it just doesn't seem like he's coming back. Tonight, tonight, um, WrestleMania 
24, WrestleMania, uh, WWE 24, WrestleMania 30, behind the scenes on fucking WWE Network. Out there. Definitely want to watch that shit. Yeah. Cancel WWE Network hashtag was trending all fucking night. It was the number one trend at one fucking point. When I woke up this morning, it was like still number three. I was like United States trends, of course. But yeah, what the fuck, dude? I'm pretty sure I still go on Twitter and that shit's still fucking trending. I just think it's funny as shit. I'm not going to cancel my network. Regardless of the outcome of some event or something like that, I'm still going to want to watch the next pay-per-view. I'd rather pay $10 than fucking 50 I still want to watch all my w- old WCW, ECW, all the old school pay-per-views, NXT. There's so much shit on that network that's still worth the 10 fucking bucks regardless if you fucking hated that match or not. But yeah, people are like, oh yeah, 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 you know. Show WWE that you don't su- uh, uh, appreciate him winning by canceling your subscription. Well, there's pr- too much content on there that I enjoy, so I'm not canceling it. Fuck that shit. I don't know. I'm not as pissed as everybody else. But, um, I definitely see where everybody else is coming from. But fuck, it's the guy. Oh, shit, you, what, what can you do, man? Lose, lose situation. If, if The Rock possibly would have turned, yeah, The Rock even comes in, right? And he tries to fucking save it. Cause, you know, Big Show and, um, Kane are about to toss him out or whatever. He comes in there and kind of half ass saves it. But then the crowd, you still hear, hear the crowd say, Rusev, 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 because he wasn't eliminated. And yeah, I, need, I forgot about that too. They should have let Rusev win, because at that point, but yeah, you can't really call it audible that fucking fast, because the crowd just started chanting for him. They didn't want Roman to win. They turned on him bad. I think it's fucking funny as shit. Like I said, I'm not definitely not as mad as everybody else, but I see where everybody's coming from. I enjoyed the fucking world title match. I'm glad Cena didn't fucking lose. They had me good fucking spots. Um, there's some other shit too that I could probably talk about. Fucking from like Miz Dow and shit. Okay, with them, them, um, with Miz and Miz Dow or whatever, they're still getting good reactions. They're still fucking being entertaining. They need to break them up before they get stale, which is, Going to start happening soon. It's kind of already starting to happen. And, you know, it just all depends on where you look at it from. If they break them up while they're still at a high peak, it could be a good rivalry for Ms. Dow or Damien Sandow to lead on to bigger and better stuntmen or what the fuck ever. It's just something different. I'm, I'm still enjoying it. But, yeah, if they wait till fucking everybody just starts hating it, if, like, they're still doing this fucking four months from now and everybody's like, boo, well, it... That's the wrong time to break them up. You gotta break them up while they're kinda hot. That way you can still get a good reaction off this fucking breakup and lead it to somewhere. Lead them to having a WrestleMania match then maybe. Cause that, that, that can, that can work out. Yeah. Um, what else happened? What else happened? Paige being all sexy. I, uh, I, I love that. <laughs> Any type, fucking, oh, Paige is the sex. Yeah, fucking, ooh, hell yeah, that gothic pale skin look, man. She go perfect. My motherfucking tattoo shit. Come on now. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> I think it's fucking funny. That's my thoughts. I'm anxious to see where they go from here to see how they're going to try to fix this in, in the internet's eyes, you know. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're definitely going to start leading up into the WrestleMania, so we'll see how shit goes. But uh, I, I'm anxious and interested to see what the fuck's going to happen. But damn, they fucked up big time. Everybody, God, everybody is, I don't even think there was a, this big of outlast last year. I don't remember seeing like these hashtags and shit like last this long. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Who fucking knows? Anyway, that's my thoughts. WWE Royal Rumble 2015. What, what did I call it? A whole lot of butt hurt or some shit like that? The internet is butt hurt? I don't, I don't fucking know. Whatever. But yeah, as always, hope you guys enjoyed this shit. And me, I am out this bitch. Later, people. Motherfucker, now I'm here What up, world? Legs in the sky when I'm up in your girl Never said that I was a winner I was more like a sinner who achieved for a dinner In the middle of the winter If it meant I could get a with summer My bad, I'm just trying to be me Hope y'all see when you see me on the TV or a city And I'm nice like a heater Cause I write like a minute I ain't trying to be a heater But I flow like a heater And can see it and see me in hell Me, I mean well Get it? Water? Otter? Love to the son and the love of the father Hey, Mr. G, I'm in love with your daughter Ain't got a plan, but I got a lot of high With a little bit of spark in a box